I'm so chilled, so chilled as a matter of fact that I'm going to do my easiest recipe ever. I'm going to be doing you my roast snapper with coconut, chili and lime salsa. The Caribbean Sunshine Kit has got just what I need to give the snapper a tangy stuffing. Thyme, ginger and scotch bonnet pepper. And I'll be adding a fresh citrus twist with limes and parsley. A succulent coconut salsa is the perfect partner. I've got my fish, so let's get it scaled. I'm using a really big snapper here because I want some really nice flesh out of it. Bigger the snapper, less the bone. Snapper is easy to find in the UK now. Right, what you need to do with your fish now, just so that when you make your seasoning, it gets right in the fish. So I'm going to give it a couple of slashes. That's one, another one here. Remember not to go too deep. Right, that's looking good. Let's put that over there so I can start making the stuffing for the fish. I'm going to be using some flat leaf parsley. What I would usually use is coriander. The coriander is out of season at the moment here, so there's no harm in using parsley. And now some old friends from the Caribbean Sunshine Kit. Some thyme chopped finely, in the pan it goes. A bit of ginger, which gives some gentle heat. And of course, scotch bonnet pepper, de-seeded and chopped finely. I'm going to need two limes. I'm going to use the zest. It's going to give it a nice, tangy, fresh taste. Now the same lime, just going to cut that in half. To mix everything together. That smells lovely. Right, okay, let's get our fish back on here. And now for our other lime. Rub the lime juice on the skin and inside the snapper. Now your snapper is ready to be stuffed. We're a Start with the slashes first. Really poke that in. You should get it right in there. Now I've got some foil here to wrap my fish in. I'm going to use a double amount of foil just to make sure that all the steam stays in and wrap it up. We're in Jamaica, so I'm going to be doing this in a jerk pan, but you can do it in the oven, on a barbecue, or in a roasting tin. Cooking time depends on the size of a fish. That's a big fish, so I'm going to leave that for about 40 minutes. And what you're looking for is for the flesh of the fish to be opaque, and then you know you're on your way. The salsa is a variation on the stuffing, but with crunchy coconut. You need the juice of eight limes, the zest of two limes, and into this dissolve a teaspoonful of caster sugar, some coconut shavings, some coarsely chopped flat leaf parsley or coriander, and two de-seeded scotch bonnet peppers cut into strips. That's looking delicious. I'll leave those flavors to get acquainted. The snapper is doing fine, so I've just got time to make a super simple dessert. My matrimony deluxe, because some fruits go together. You know, love on a plate. First, you'll need one mango cut into cubes. Had two kiwi fruits peeled and cut into quarters. Next, two passion fruit. You need to cut them in half and scoop out the flesh inside. I'm adding ginger, this time the sweetened preserve type, as well as some of the syrup that it comes in. And finally, squeeze over the juice of half a lime. I love to serve my matrimony deluxe with ice cream or cream. <laughs> 